understanding staffer loans, advocating for your money, loan limits, annual unsubsidized loan limits, understanding subsidized versus unsubsidized, interest rates and 10-year treasury note, and bankruptcy. Action. You can't do so many on these last. Okay, uh -huh. so today we're talking about Stafford loans, which covers unsubsidized and subsidized loans and some other things. <laughs> Stafford loans are popular for several reasons. A, flexible repayment options. B, easy application methods. C, generous terms for both eligibility and allowable expenses. Houston, the mandolin, come in. Houston, be advised, I have a video message that's directed to the whole crew. Important yeah. information. There's no subsidized Stafford loans for graduate students. So, for higher education students in the 2014-2015 school year, there was an interest rate of 6.21% versus 4.66% for undergrads. Both low rates are tied into a 10-year treasury note, and this means a slightly lower interest rate. So you should go and Google the 10-year treasury note. And then Next you. page, because I don't know anything about that. <laughs> Sometimes in college you need to learn that you have to find the things out for yourself. So you need to become your own financial advocate for that borrowed money before you graduate because bankruptcy is not an option. <laughs> so more about bankruptcy. Chapter 13 and 7 bankruptcy has no superhero powers to get you out of repayment. But I'm Batman. Only a small window of undue hardships. This is a very small window. Tiny. There are loan limits. The loan limits are as follows. I can't read because this guy writes small. Oh my goodness. Did you know that the estimated college expense has increased to 1,200% over the past 35 years? Are you serious? Yes. 1,200%. That's why you have to be your financial advocate for yourself, because like I said, get out of that debt. So the College Board report moderate college budget average as $22,826 for in-state public college, $44,750 for private college, and $60,000 or more for Ivy League. That's a lot of money. Get those free scholarships, man. Tell you. So what's your limit? You want to break down? I'm going to give it to you. Yep, action. Okay. Your unsubsidized loan limits annual, which is on this page. Unsubsidized loan limits annually are for a freshman dependent, $5,000. If you're independent, you get $4,000 more. Sophomore dependents, $6,500. Independent, $4,000 more. If you're a junior, senior, and beyond like graduate, you get $7,500. Independent students will get $5,000 more, okay? But you have a cumulative limit for dependents of $31,000, and independent, you get $57,500 limit. As you can see, it adds up fast. This is Houston to Mandolin. I don't have a visual. Please come in. Ready? And action! Federal aid offers direct subsidized and unsubsidized loans. The difference between the two loans are subsidized loans are based on financial need and the interest does not accrue while the student is in college as interest is paid by the federal government. Four, unsubsidized loans, they are not based on financial need and the interest starts as soon as you get that loan. So while you're studying, you can pay it, which I suggest, or you can wait. And it just goes back to your principal. Boo. Students can apply for both types of loans by filling and submitting the FAFSA, FAFSA application. FAFSA. Treat this information as you would in the exam. You need to study and learn all you can about it because it is vital that you create a wise financial plan so that you can be stress-free and enjoying your new career. Consult your financial aid department and remember, by increasing your financial IQ, you will create wise investments now and in the future. Uh, has anybody seen Mandela? Knock out your financial aid debt. You have to be driven to become the driver of your own future. Driven by yourself. <laughs> Don't let someone else take control of your future steering wheel.
Houston. I think we found Mandolin. You know why? You're going to college. All right, boss. Two, two, three, one, one. Two, two, three, one, one.